Here's the other one. Wait, what is this? I was doing it online myself to get an idea. And I told you originally, I said, oh, you're going to get like 4000 back. He got you more. Okay, so this came from Idaho because that showed how much your tuition was to Spain. And they gave you a $1,000 scholarship. They have to send this to you. It's called a 1098. And then you got one from Washington State because you got a $500 scholarship. And that goes towards your income. You have to show them. That's basically it. So you gave that to him? Mm-hmm. And then he figures it all out. And I was pretty close, though. I was damn close when I did it myself. That's what I told you by... Oh, yeah. I showed him this because I said, what should she do this year? Because now she's getting taken out money for Chicago, and she's supposed to be a California Because look at this. California state income, nothing. Yeah. He, it and says, it was nothing before. Look. Said, oh, this, so this is for this was from this is comparable. I understand, Mom. They said 11 20, 2015. So I told you I got it off. I don't think you had to go by what's on there. thing for? So what, what is this whole process called? Did Paying your taxes. Mm -hmm. Every year. I thought we paid them already. You, they already took them out. No, you pay out throughout the year. Then you bring your whole life situation to a tax man and he takes all your income and all your expenses and he calculates it out. And if you have more expenses than income, then you get all the, that tax back. That I understand. The, the everyday, normal everyday person, April 15th, what is this whole thing? If they owe money, like if you didn't pay in enough, like let's say you, you filed single in, like at what I wanted you to exempt. do, exempt or single in nine, and maybe you didn't take out enough taxes, then you might owe them because they never took it out of your paycheck. So you might owe them an extra $200 or something that's due by... Either way, I still don't get why you would want me to put that many people. Because you, never, you didn't give me a number. You can put whatever you want. It's up to you how much you want deducted. There's no law that says you have to do a single in one. If you choose to do single in nine, it just means they're not going to hardly take out any taxes. Because I why believe. Is that good? Because I believe in why should I let them take out all these taxes? If you're and just going to get them back. Yes. Why can't I have it in my savings account? Why does it get to be in the IRS's savings account? And Bob believes the same way. So I do exempt. They don't take out any money on my check. So it costs $399 to have this done. So much he makes? How, much, how long did that take him? Three seconds. <laughs> he made, you know how much he made? He made, I was there four hours. What did we calculate he made, honey? Off of us? Yeah. Over two grand. Like 27. Four grand? Four grand? Yeah. Hey, why why not so much for you guys? Because we have a corporation. We, it costs 1100 for the corporation. Eight. So he's rich. He has his own building. But he owns shit all over the fucking world. Okay, so I, I took... You should do that. I took all this, <laughs> you know, your spreadsheet that I did. That's how I knew. And then I took your loans. So this year, you're really going to get a good write-off because this year, your student loan interest is going to be a full year of interest. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I'm paying. So, let's see. Interest paid $500. And what, so what are you saying? Well, you get to write off all your student loan interest. That was just at the end of uh, 2015. And you should be doing things. So, we're going to get that. Thank you. I'm going to save that with our tax stuff next year. We'll go over 
it's all you. Your responsibility is. I think I saved your book. I wanted to ask you what you 